Well, howdy, 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 folks, and welcome to Makwawit Man's second ever Halloween special. Now, Halloween is probably one of my uh, favorite holidays, which is why it comes early on my channel. <laughs> And, uh, I had to think real long and hard about what it was that I wanted to do, because, you know, nothing, nothing really felt right, but I finally decided that this, this thing was the right thing to do. So, uh, today we're going to be making an Aztec death whistle out of air dry clay. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not particularly great with clay, because I've only recently taken an interest in it, but uh, I thought it'd be cool to do it, so yeah, here we are. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what an Aztec death whistle is, it is a whistle that's supposed to sound somewhere in between howling winds and human screams, which makes sense, because... The whistle itself is associated with the Aztec god of winds, Ekat, I think is how you pronounce that, and the uh, lord of the underworld, Mictlan Tequitli. So yeah, howling winds and human screams, totally what you're gonna hear in the underworld. But uh, yeah, here's a demonstration of what that sounds like from this uh, really cool dude, Javier Quijas Shayot, who made a lot of those kinds of wind instruments and whatnot. Mine probably isn't going to sound that good, because frankly I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but you know what? It's okay, I'm not a, I'm not a friggin' whistle maker guy, alright? <laughs> so I'm not expecting a lot from it. In any case, without further ado, I give you Makwawip Man's Halloween Special Season 2. Hope you enjoy it.
Well, folks, here's the hard part of this. You gotta get just the right angle between that mouthpiece and the little hole in the bowl, because that's really what gives your whistle its, its sound, you know? But after that, uh, you really just stick it all together and close it up, and then you're free to do whatever you want on the outside. I took my inspiration from this photo, and I think it turned out pretty close.